Okay, so with that, uh, you guys, it is, it is, um, it's always really, really cool when you get to know somebody that not only you get to work with, but you're friends with. And that is the case tonight with Maurice. Maurice Domino uh, is one of the world's leading speaker coaches and helping you craft your million dollar message. He does two boot camps, uh, two boot camps every year. How many of you have been to his boot camp? Some of you, worth it? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Uh, and it is just, he is, he is out on the circuit. He speaks all over the world. He's had over 1,800 paid speaking engagements. And you will see why here in a second. I'm kind of slouchy and I'm just like Lucy Goosey. He is very, uh, he is very put together. And so we've asked him tonight to just share with you a couple of tips with that. So, you guys, please welcome Maurice Camino. Question for you. Are you guilty of overnoting? Thank you. Well, I think Dick knows what that means. Overnoting, what does that mean? Well, that's a phrase that I came up with. About a week ago, I was on the road uh, for national seminars. I was making appearances in Reno, uh, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, Chandler, and as well as El Paso, Texas. And I noticed as I was speaking, I heard a voice in my head. How many of you have a voice inside here? Let me raise your hand, okay? Those of you not raising your hands, you're sitting there. Should I raise my hand? I'm sure. <laughs> we all have that voice inside of our head. And as I was presenting, I heard this voice inside my head said, hey, tell the mirror story. And as just as I was about to tell the mirror story, I heard another voice. Don't tell the mirror story. You're going to go over time. You're giving them too much content. And right then and there, I realized that we can be guilty of overnoting. Let me ask you something. How many of you are taking advantage of using the platform or using public speaking to get your message out there? And how many of you, okay, thank you. How many of you would like to take advantage of this great vehicle known as public speaking? Right? Those of you that did not raise your hand, let me tell you something, you're missing the most important marketing tool you have, which is what? Get your, your voice, you! My gosh, if you can't tell me what you do, what you do for fun, what you're about, then why are you in this business known as entrepreneurship, network marketing, or in business, quite simply put? <coughs> you see, I think we are guilty of overnoting. I know that when we go out to service organizations, animal clubs, everybody know what an animal club is? You got water buffalo, uh, moose, elk, you know, those type of people. <laughs> you know, usually, usually they give us anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to speak. And if you're new to this thing known as speaking, I know that you want to impress them. Right? Aren't I right? You want to impress them. So I know what's going to happen. You're going to fill that presentation with so much content to impress them that two things are going to happen. One thing is you're going to turn them off. You see, we have to understand one thing. I've done a lot of research on public speaking. But we have to understand that the human mind can take a list of three items. How many items? Three. Three items, that's it. So if you give me, if, you, if I give you 20 minutes to speak and you give me a laundry list of 20 items, trust me, this is what the audience is doing. They're working on item number one. They're thinking about item number two. They'll get to item number three. They're not even paying attention to items four through 20. So you are putting your audience to sleep. So this is my suggestion to you. Don't go wide, go deep. Go what? Deep. 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 In other words, in that 20 minutes, even in that hour, even if it's 90 minutes, even if it's one day, go deep. Don't overnote. In other words, don't give them too much, too much information. Now, overnoting can happen when you're writing out your notes. You're just writing, writing, writing. I highly recommend owning a kitchen timer, all right? My girlfriend, Heidi, we went out, my gosh, we shopped for a kitchen timer for her. For her. Why? So that we could time each and every one of her speeches, and not only that, the kitchen timer is out in front of her when she does her new book, Sexy With No Boundaries, which I highly recommend to check out. It's very sexy. Uh, so there's the kitchen timer. So as you're writing it out, this is my suggestion. No matter what time they give you, always subtract a few minutes. So what are you going to give? What are you going to do every time they give you a, a, a time to speak? Subtract. That's right, DJ. You're going to subtract. And this is my rule: if it's 20 minutes, maybe two or three minutes. Speak for 17 minutes. If it's an hour, this is when you start tra subtracting five minutes. So if they give you an hour, it's 55. If it's 90 minutes, it's 85. So on and so forth. 
Why? So that you do not overnote. You go deep in your topic. Let me tell you something. If you only have 20 minutes to speak, ladies and gentlemen, go deep. Right? I know of Mary Lou with her services and what she provides. She's an expert in, in her field, yes? Yeah, she's an expert. Do you know by the sheer act of her getting up in front of the room, we already know that she's an expert. So why go wide? Let me know that you're, you are an expert in it. Now I know Nicole Rhodes here, she's an expert in vision boards. Okay, let me tell you something. I'm reading a program, I know that about her, so she doesn't have to go into every single benefit. Instead, give me a particular point about vision boards. So my tips on public speaking is this. Do not overnote. While you're writing out your presentation, and let me tell you something. Even when you're presenting, you're going to think that the audience is not paying attention, they're going to sleep. No, you're just lulling them into submission to know more about you. All right, so even when you present, trust me, trust whatever you've written there. And if you want to learn more about that, this is simply a blog that I posted last week on tips on public speaking on my website, maristamino.com. And I encourage you to visit, there's many various tips on speaking. Leave a comment, join the family as I like to call it, and I would love to know what your tips on public speaking. Let me ask you something, was this of value to you? Yes. yes. So the next time you go present, well the first thing I'm going to say is this, the next time if somebody offers you a speaking opportunity, what's your first answer? Yes. Yes, yes definitely. And then you figure it out afterwards. But as you're figuring it out, remember, do not overnote. Right. Good stuff, yes? Yes. Was that the value? Yes. And if I may dovetail what Casey said, and that's what we want to do with these meetups. We, we want to share with you, this, this is for you know business owners, entrepreneurs, uh, our LA web and design people, our W Check Club people, all these various people. We want to make sure that you're su successful out there. Uh, I, I, I love working with Casey because we have the same mantra, if you will. We've seen success, and now we want to share it with you.